catch melanoma at an early stage, it's almost 100% curable. But if you catch it at a later stage, it's actually very hard to treat. The people that are most at risk for developing melanoma are people who tend to sunburn easily. So you can think about that as people with very fair skin, light hair, light eyes, but who really have that tendency to sunburn. Now, that doesn't mean that other people can't develop melanoma. In fact, we've seen melanoma in people with all skin types, but that's the group that's at highest risk. One of the things we really emphasize to people who are at higher risk for melanoma is that you need to be doing your own skin exams. And so a lot of times we'll recruit a partner, you know, maybe that's your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or just your friend, to help you look over your skin from head to toe. One of the helpful hints that we have is to look for the ABCDs of melanoma. And what that means is that when you're looking at a particular mole on your skin, you want to look for several findings that indicate that that mole might be at risk for melanoma. A stands for asymmetry. So what that means is that one half of the mole does not look like the other half. B stands for border. Melanoma tends to have irregular or jagged borders. C stands for color, and that means more than one color within a mole. It could be pink or brown together. It doesn't have to be dark. That can still be a melanoma. D stands for diameter, and that means diameter greater than six millimeters, and that's the size of a pencil eraser. Now, I mentioned the ABCDs, but in fact, in recent years, we've also added E and F, and E is actually one of the most important features of a mole that can give you a clue that it's a melanoma. E stands for evolution, and that means a mole that is changing. If you have a mole that's undergoing a change, whether that's in size or color or shape, or symptoms, that that's something that needs to be seen by your dermatologist. And then F stands for family history. If you have a family history of melanoma, that does increase your risk. So if you have these risk factors for melanoma, we do emphasize an annual skin exam with your dermatologist. 